Hey everybody, I'm Brett, and this is my son. Hey, I'm Jack. We're going to be bringing you videos about overhauls, restorations, basically if it's got a motor at some point we're going to work on it or at least talk about it. I'm the buyer, the seller, shade tree mechanic. I'm everything but the mechanic. I do the fun stuff like shoot the video and edit. So that about covers it. We hope you enjoy this video of the family ranch. Okay, we're done. Hello, welcome. Hello. It's my first YouTubes. All right, everybody, today we are going to be swapping the motor in the Blue Brahma. Uh, it's 1982 Toyota Deluxe long bed, um, first gen four wheel drive pickup. It's got a 22R in it that is very tired. It has been leaking oil for some time, actually ever since I got the truck. Bought it in the fall, um, took it hunting, took it to deer camp. It did good, just had to keep some oil in it, but we recently acquired I don't know if you can see it over there. A new motor for it. So, well it's not, it's rebuilt. We are going to be swapping it. The uh, current motor has an LC engineering performance head, carburetor. Uh, it's a Weber 3236 I believe is the designation. Cam, header. It, overall it runs really good but it's got a lot of blow by still and um, it leaks oil like it's an artery. Hang on, I'll show you what it looks like underneath the truck. That is from running for probably less than a minute. You can see that's a really good fresh pile. So, way too much to be drivable. Um, I'm pretty sure the timing chain stretched on it. I need a hole in the timing chain cover um, and that's where the oil is leaking out of. So today we're going to be pulling the motor out. We're going to be prepping the new motor. Um, hopefully we will get it in tomorrow and have the truck running by the end of the weekend. Stay tuned. Not sure why, but it quit recording before we got the header out. Anyways, right now we have the header out, to the, the radiator's drained. Oh, today's sponsor is Bang Energy Drinks. Not really. I do like them though. They're sugar free. Um, anyways, we got the uh, fan shroud out. I'm going to pull the fan out, the radiator out. Um, we started unhooking some electrical. We've got the throttle linkage undone. 
and I've also got the header out. So next I'm going to take the fan off, start pulling accessories off to make it a little bit easier. I may even go ahead and pull the radiator out. I may even pull the radiator out just to give us some extra room. Plus when I'm pulling the engine, you don't really want to take a chance in hitting your radiator, especially if you're doing this by yourself and uh, having to get a new radiator. So here you go. Okay, first camera went dead, so now we're on the phone. Video may look a little worse, but for what we're doing, I think it'll serve its purpose. Let's continue on. Um, update, I've got the starter out. Um, I've got the fan off. I went to the store, we bought a 10 millimeter, so now we will have two when we find the other one one day. Um, I've got the water uh, upper and lower radiator hoses off. At this point, it's, I think, four or five bolts in the bell housing. There was actually a lot of bolts missing out of the bell housing, so I'm gonna have to source those. Um, shouldn't be hard, just get some grade eight hardware. Uh, so, motor mounts, bell housing bolts, and I think it'll be ready to come out. Fingers crossed. We found like the perfect piece of chain. I didn't even think I had any. Bam, look at that. It's literally like perfect. All right, we're fixing to get it on the hook and start pulling on it. See what happens. take off a ground cable. It's the only thing holding the engine up right now. The bad part is the ground cable is attached to my engine hoist, like the mounting point I've got my chain attached to on the motor. So I don't want to set it back down in there and it's just an electrical connection and I've got current connections that I can use so I'm going to cut it. If you can see me, <laughs> I got a great camera angle going on here. Right now we are uh, pulling everything off the motor. We need clutch, flywheel, motor mounts. Um, I took the distributor off just in case I needed it. I noticed the other day when I brought that other motor home, it had been riding on the distributor, uh, the rotor. There wasn't a cap on it, on the tire. So I'm not sure if that messed up the distributor or not. So I went ahead and pulled the distributor out of the other one. And we're about to have the flywheel off. This is the last thing I think we need, so we're real close. What we're doing right now, if you can see me, Got a great camera angle going on here. Right now we are um, pulling everything off the motor. We need clutch, flywheel, motor mounts. Um, I took the distributor off just in case I needed it. 
I noticed the other day when I brought that other motor home, it had been riding on the distributor, uh, the rotor. There wasn't a cap on it, on the tire, so I'm not sure if that messed up the distributor or not, so I went ahead and pulled the distributor out of the other one. And we're about to have the firewall off. This is the last thing I think we need, so we're real close. It's not bad. Let's see if I can show you on the camera. It's not too good. You focus on it. Anyways, that's going to be pain in the butt to work with the rest of the day. So I need to go super glue that and I guess put on a pair of gloves to try to keep crap out of it. But as you can see, we have the engine bay empty. We have the other motor D, I don't know, undressed, I guess. <laughs> I need, I, I'm trying to decide if I need the oil pan because the oil pan on this motor, the oil pan is different. Let me turn my light off and see if this makes any difference. The oil pan is different than um, this oil pan. This oil pan is wider and it does not have that little skid plate on it. <clears throat> so, I'm working on getting an engine stand. I don't have one here, unfortunately. I know, stupid, right? But I have to take this oil pan and put it on this motor. This motor is setting on a tire. So I'm working on getting an engine stand here so I can get this motor onto an engine stand, pull the oil pan off this motor, put it on that motor, um, then when I get the oil pan off of that motor, I can see if I need to do a different sump, if it's got a front mount sump versus a rear mount sump. Um, that's about it. So I'm going to let this motor down. I'm going to drain the oil out of it. I'm going to go ahead and take the, uh, oil pan off of it and will work. So in the meantime, or not in the meantime, after I got the motor out, I had to run to town, needed some beer. It's Saturday. It was just a beer day. So. We got some uh, co-op F5 IPA. Love my IPAs. Everybody hates it except for me. All my friends at least. I'm sure there's people out there in YouTube world that like it. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I worry. you. We still have to put the rear main seal in that motor. Um, I did find in the parts that I got, I got the distributor cap, which we may or may not end up using that distributor. I got the exhaust manifold gasket, which is good. I needed one. I was going to have to go to the store tomorrow and get one, if not. So we're getting really close to throwing motor mounts on that one after I get these pans swapped out, throwing motor mounts on it, depending on what we find with the sump in here. Um, Wow, that motor was really low on oil. It looks like it had about maybe two quarts in it. Like I said, it used, and well, it didn't use it. It leaked a lot of oil. Um, everything on this motor, except for the bottom end, like I need to check out the bearings when I get in there, but it had a lot of blow by. So I'm assuming when they put the uh, LC engineering head and exhaust and basically performance kit on it, that they didn't do anything to the bottom end. Uh, it had an aftermarket clutch in it that still has good life, so that looks good. We'll reuse that. Um, they had some good parts in it. I don't know why they didn't redo the bottom end. Probably didn't want to pull the motor out. I get it, but sometimes you got to do it. So we're going to get that done, and I don't know. Hopefully this will be running tomorrow. This may end up turning into one of those projects that 
I'm working on all week long in the evenings. Um, hopefully not. I would really like to have it running tomorrow. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we lost our original audio right here for some reason, but we had to stop right here because we didn't have any kind of assembly lube or lithium grease for the rear main seal. So that's on the agenda tomorrow. We're going to pick that up, hopefully get the rear main seal installed, and then we will be able to carry on with hopefully getting the engine stabbed, and I want to get it running. Um, that's obviously the first thing, the, uh, not necessarily the first thing, that's what we want to do tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't carry on into later on in the week. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next part which will be hopefully filmed and finished tomorrow and um, we'll get this thing going and you can check it out and see how it runs and sounds and we'll be good to go from there. Thanks for tuning in guys.